today I would like to tell you Indonesian folklore about an angel named Nawang Wulan. On one beautiful day, when the sky was bright after the rain, Nawang Wulan and her six sister flew down from heaven to earth. Hmm. And they took off their special scarf that helped them to fly and they swam and they played by the water and they sang and they joked around and they also sang and played. Um, it's a game of jubla jubla swim. It's a game where one of you would crouch down on the ground and the other would open their palms and a small stone would move with the song. Jubla jubla suang suang ye pengaletar membuka tumbuk kutel pak empole rale resap pangguyu dele ake sir sir pang dele kosong sir sir pang dele kosong. Now the stone stop. Close your palm and let the one who crouches down to guess where the stone was. That's really easy and it's really fun because you got to play and you got to sing and they played all day long over and over again until the day got dark and you know when the day got dark you went home so the angels went home and they took their special scarf to fly to the heaven ha ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, where's the seventh? <laughs> oh no! It's now on one! She couldn't find her scarf. She looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. It's nowhere to be found. The day got darker and darker. And a man approached her. Are you okay? No, I am not. I cannot find my scarf. Oh no, said the man with sorry. It's getting dark. It's dangerous to be alone in the forest. Why don't you come to my house? My name is Jagataru. No one wanted didn't have so many options. So she followed with fear. It turned out the man was really kind. Even though now one was almost sad every day, but he took a really good care of her, and she finally felt happier, better, and she said yes when Chakataru asked her to be his wife. What could possibly go wrong, right? So she started to sing. To plat, to plat, suang, suang, ye pengaletar. And to repay his kindness, Nawang Wan used her angelic magic, the one that she used to help poor people on earth. She only needed one rice grain to make a bowl of rice. And Zekataru wondered, how can we still have so many rice? <laughs> because just like another magic, you have to do it in secret. So Zekatar could not know. If he knew, now one's magic would be lost. So can you keep a secret? Because one day, now one wanted to take a walk to the forest. But Zekatar was still at home. So before going out, she said, it's a paper, I need you to not see under the cover. Sure. So, now one went out to the forest without knowing that Jakarta was actually burned with curiosity. Meanwhile, now one sang in the forest. Mambuka tumba kudel pa ampolera lere. She was so happy. And when she went back home, she hurried back to the kitchen and opened the food cover eagerly. But there's no a bowl full of rice, it's just one rice grain. 
No one was so disappointed, she said. You know who I am. I'm sorry. Well, she forgave him, but her magic still lost. So she started to use rice just like we do normally. Until one day, when she scooped what would be the last body grains, she touched something. <gasps> she pulled. <gasps> what? It's my scarf! No one was so happy. But then she remembered. Then Chica thought of who was the one who stole it and hid it. <gasps> no one was so betrayed. She was sad and betrayed. So she flew back to heaven without saying anything. When she arrived in heaven, her six sisters welcomed her with smile. She forgot everything. And they sang together. Sir, sir, pangdeleka sang, sir, sir, pangdeleka sang. And that was my story. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy it because I had a great time and I wish we can meet again. Terima kasih and sampai jumpa. Next is my friend Nami.